Now, I know this wasn't the ending that I chose to be canonical, but for this, I'm going to have to make an exception. Really? Previously on Sam and Max. So, want to stop some crimes? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> and they went into the time traveling elevator. No better way to screw time than through time. You crack me up, little buddy. But wait, so you your hat. Don't worry, no, it'll go back. Don't worry, I showed the whole thing. Yeah, this fine. It originally started off as a look at, but to keep things canonical, we're gonna say that their adventure doesn't quite end with Telltale season three just yet. For this, they are going to have to go way back. Back to the nineties the when they were made relevant by Ooh. thanks to thanks thanks to the, the efforts of Lucas Arts. Friends, <gasps> we've only gone out together three times. No, is that no, that actually is a very fitting way to open up? To yeah, you'll see. Also, is you is that freaking cap um, freaking and and uh, and and trophy guy? Like um, are you talking about Corey Burns? No, yes. it's not. Wow, sounded like him. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. That's fair. Uh -huh. Also, I'll get the thing you're in. Oh, wait, listen. That sounds like an elevator door. I guess, perhaps? And they brought the car with them. Somehow. Of course they Or maybe they just stole from their past selves. Probably. Maybe. Hello. Hey, Sam. Hello. Hey, this doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. No, it doesn't. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Looks Don't like... say volatile. Ooh, does this mean we get the kicks? Gee, Sam, you sound, more... sound a lot more. Gee, Sam, you sound a lot more goofy than usual. Can't think of a reason not to. And Sam <laughs> sounds not Sam. Wow. You'll and Max sounds too low. I can never I escape the we'll identity confusion the between these two. We'll it's fine. Yeah. Sometimes they can't escape it themselves. <gasps> I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Me neither. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? What shall we do? Sick him up, little buddy. Okay. Oh boy, my favorite pie. Well, Come here, you. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Hey, I should say that. Did a good job handling that Yikes. rope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh. He's not a real guy, Sam. It's a robot. Can I keep his head for a souvenir. Why do you suppose it's ticking? Not just any robot. And I'll get the text. So. No head, I'll get the text timing One right damn sometime. Time bomb. Let's leave okay. this I'm, play, I'm playing this via GOG, which uses the scum and the scum engine emulator, which uh, they they handle subtitles differently. Where, oh, I guess we could talk about during the credits. Oh, should he drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sam, is pronto a real word? Maybe. Good boy, Sam and Max. I never go. forget all you've done here today. The sprite animation is also pretty good in this game. Um, are you gonna leave me tied up here, sir? The, the ones who can save others are ones who should save themselves. Oh, well. Okay, uh, at, least I guess. I got, at least I got the weekend off. So, yeah, before the, uh, especially with the Illuminati Local 421, Jesus. So, yeah, before the likes of Telltale, what inspired them to continue their series was actually this game. That LucasArts had done prior. Yep, Sam and Max hit the road. Which was the which was the duo's first big adventure onto the computer gaming scene. And actually, now that I'm listening to it, I think it's incredible that I never made the connection before. I, probably I mentioned our look at already, but that the uh, main theme of Sam and Max season one is basically Jared Emerson Johnson's remix on this theme that we're hearing right now. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a like a note for note remix, but he definitely does take inspiration from. Like this here, like this. Oh, of course. Like that that melody, that like theme song or whatever. There's like. I just realized is Max's hand literally on the wheel right there. Yes. Yes, it is. And that and there and there's Sam clawing at the dashboard, shrieking like a cheerleader. Meanwhile, we have meanwhile we have a natural normal day of Matt and Max beating the living shit out of a clown. But yeah. Sam reads a good old book. But yeah, uh, Jordy, have you seen any of the original Sam Max at the Road? Oh I gosh, have, train. Oops. I kind of haven't, actually. I mean, I think I may have seen one or two clips from, like, reviews. Oh, my aim. <laughs> anyway, oh, I may have seen, like, one or two clips from, like, reviews or something like that, but I haven't seen actual gameplay footage of this. Man, that top panel. Well, then, yeah, so... I should say that if you like the Telltale stuff, you'll probably like this. The humor is still definitely there. Ooh, that NYPD didn't know what hit him. <laughs> and, as, and as soon as we leave the tri-state area, he never will. So, 
Um, but yeah, the, uh, the if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed our work with the Telltale stuff, you're gonna enjoy this because this pretty much is the humor's all there, and it's gonna be their first big case before that one cancel sequel that was unfortunately canceled. It still amuses yeah. it still amuses me that that cancel sequel almost did get the original actors from here up until they had to change it for Telltale. Well, that was yeah, because yeah, because yeah, as sequence. my little joke made er, made I reference to earlier, Sam is actually played by Bill Farmer. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you talking about, mm -hmm. Max? And Max here is voiced by Nick Jameson, who, the only other big thing I can think of that he's done Oops. is that, oh, yeah. um, how, um, I'm oh, yeah, almost I'm forgot sure about James the Tiki Time Bomb. Oh. oh, what should we do Max, with this? where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Oosh, what should we do? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. Oh, that's fair. Okay, yeah. they'll be fine. Out oh. you go. Whoop. Out you go. Whoa! Oh, boy. So I hope scared Jimmy Two Feet out of his hidey hole. I know. Nobody we know, at least. Okay, that's then. something. But then, Whoa. the phone. I got it, I got it, I, I got, got it. it, I got it. Oh, no, nope. you don't, Max. <laughs> Get. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? He'll be fine. Yes? Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, yeah yes? you'll see. Just give yes. him a minute. Just a normal I, get, no. I guess I should also say... Wait. There it goes. Well, the I guess I should black. say... Once again, another another thing that I another will argue in the sake of a 2D animation versus Actually, 3D animation is that you can have a lot more, assignment. like, fast-paced, like, almost cartoony, like, action we in something like hope. this as opposed to what Telltale did. I mean, to be fair, we kind of live in a day and age now where, where the differences between 3D and 2D animation are becoming so much slimmer. Ooh, and yeah, so, that is true. Hence the Asterix stuff. Yeah. And actually, just... And actually, just speaking of animation real quick, like, I'm not quite sure if this is, like, a very widely known thing, but, you know, yeah, Steve Purcell, obviously he was heavy, heavily involved in this, like, he wrote the script, and even, I don't know how many of the animations, but he also animated a lot of the animations you'll see in this game. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, so I should say right I mean, now... he's an artist, so it's not that far removed. So I should say, right-click swaps between my different cursors, use, look at, All right, Jimmy, time to pay your rent. Oop. Oh, it's all our loot. Cash. Never leave home without and a it. lot of it. Yeah, so you have uh, the... Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. Uh -huh. So <laughs> we can walk around with the little two fingers walking about. We have uh, our inventory here. And unfortunately, here. if I'm not it's mistaken, I think this was before we'll they need. got the clever idea of um, whenever Sam collides with Max, he just tosses him up the ceiling. Yeah. 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 Although I would it, love it, it if you... It was an olden time. Although I would love if you did that and there's just a hole in the ceiling now and that you can actually see it just... Boom. Wow, what but, an irregular yeah. feeling I just felt there, Sam. Wait, it's a go. horse. I don't know who the horse is. I hate this channel. But yeah, but I'm just showing off some of the fun stuff. I'm sorry, real but... quick. You know, Midtown Cowboys really went down the dumps after they replaced the cow with a horse. Yeah, after season eight, it all just went downhill. But yeah, other than that, I'm just showing off they some of the fun it, stuff. They were, it went so downhill, they were beating on a dead horse. Ha. Uh, yeah, I'm just showing I'm off some of the fun stuff. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We okay. got a message. Mm -hmm. What's the message? Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Let's see. Of course you would. Hey, you're the jerk who sideswiped me on the Queensboro Bridge. <gasps> Don't think I didn't get a good look at your long, fluffy ears. See you in court. Again, I'll fix the subtitles in a second with how long it's they last fun. on screen. We may have to go over there and terrify the righteous indignity out of that little fellow. Yes. <laughs> Let's. But yeah. Yeah, other than that, I, so yeah, at this point I'm going to start, like, by, I think I fade in around here. That's after I finally went to. A, it's Max. No, I don't want to look at Max. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the TV. Screw it. Let's just go over here and let's. Uh... Uh, do you? I want to ask because I know I showed it off in the Ooh, original look at. Do sandwich you make I made last futile spring. attempts to repeatedly pick up an item over and over? No. Give it to the roach farm. Which actually, now I look closely at that roach farm. That's the farm we saw in season three. Oh, yeah. That had our baby oh, yeah. roach. It's Max's roach farm. That had the baby roach in it. That's cool. Again, like, there, there's not... I mean, it, it helps that... Didn't tell... Wasn't Telltale, like... Oh, we're gonna need this UV bulb. Wasn't Telltale, I like, tell consistent Yeah, Telltale of... was comprised of a lot of former LucasArts employees. Right. I can't use these things together. Yeah, so what are some of the things that happen if I try to pick up something too many times? Um, basically, um... If you try to pick up, like, just any inanimate object that can't be interact with, like, you'd be like, I can't pick that up. You hear me? I can't pick that up. Read my lips. I can't pick that up. Oh, I give up. And then Max berates you for making him whine about that. Aww. He's like, gee, oh, really? Man. Oh, the... Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, it's Flint Paper. See, like it's like it's twin? Oh, oh yeah. Brutal. Looks like Quagmar came but to visit. But very true to life. 
Well, that's just. And here's one, one for your old man. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Hey. Oh, a smiley face. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Okay. The word I don't even understand what it means. I feel like we should do something with this poor sap. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. Go for it. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Yeah, they, they, they had fun with the writing still, because, like, again, I think Steve Purcell had a huge hand in all this stuff. And his last words mm -hmm. that night were, giggity. <laughs> Look at that oh, cute God. little kid. Oh, that's right. Our, oh, that's right. Back to the actual plot. Uh, the commissioner hey, asked us to go out and look for a convoy. You talking to me? <gasps> oh, that's our. So that's the guy. Maybe. You know, now that we're out, should we really be that shot to the talking cat on the premises? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Nah, I really yes, shouldn't. But don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Later. Maybe later, Max. <laughs> Maybe right later. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to give it up. Honestly, his face looks like it could be a game controller. I mean, look at those eyes. The way his mouth, the way his mouth animates, reminds me of this one character from a game called Torrens Passage. Sorry, Sierra guys. made it a long while ago. Orders for safekeeping. Mm. Oh, well, now I can't seem to hock them back up. Well, you know, oh. it's times like this that I like to consult Max's method of. I don't indiscriminately gathering. use people except Max. Okay, Max, step up to you. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. What? Uh oh. Good thing we're in a car too. Oh. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Talk about gratitude. According to these orders, something bizarre is. And this is where it all goes. Also, don't mind the pigeons the up there point. drinking away the day. Check it out when we got <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't notice like that. Anytime. For more about Ken, there's oh, Bosco. Also, oh, they are drinking. guns, liquor, and baby needs. Well, yeah, Bosco. Before he was actually, before he, you actually got to see it, see the ugly mug. Bosco's guns, Max liquor, picking up the baby mug. needs. Ooh, guns. Anyway, oh, that, 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 that is. That is a cute thing, is that Max will like interact with things around you. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here because we have to save Bosco from a freaking robbery. Away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. Listen. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? <gasps> That's telling him, oh. little buddy. Grab <laughs> him. <laughs> hey. oh. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. I hope so. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. Duly noted. <laughs> okay. The subtitles will be a little bit short, but whatever. And there's where Stinky's really used to be. Bad food. Back mm. when his naming was a bit more on the nose. Really so anyway. So let's get to the actual like meat and bones of this game. Is that it's called Hit the Road because this game is having their adventure where, whereas in Telltale you usually were just going around like one generalized locale. With this adventure, we're traveling all across the freaking United States. Woo! Well, off to the carnival. Yay! Or oh, actually, no, that's not Florida. That's uh, Maine, New England. That's New York, I think. Oh, New York. Tall, nation and blimey. The idea. Oh, ain't here. So now what do we do? Now. Now we get in the bus and Boy, I wonder who our mean. villain is. I knew that. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's <laughs> it's a, it's good old tall and gruesome. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, you partially clad varmints. Tall I'm not partial. Dark that? and gruesome. I don't know, but if I'm not partial, I'm a wholesome fella. I'm not this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. <laughs> you even know what wholesome means. Now he's clue. with nougat, right? You don't know what you know what wholesome means. It's what guys look like after I shoot them, right? <laughs> right on the nose, Max. Uh, hey, fun what's stuff. the hold up? But yeah, noses. Noses. look at the up close. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that's, that's a nose, all right. Reasons, you know. So this guy's not gonna listen until we show him the plans to show that we, you know, we're, he knows we're here about that business. blondie we just saw. Oh, yeah, I guess, should, I, guess I should explain the dialogue not things. Uh, you can talk, you can either ask a I question, uh, give an exclamation, say something really dumb and random, hence the duck, wave goodbye, or ask about or certain topics or inventory game. items. Which Spoilers, I'm not really going to be dealing with the, the exclamation with the or the rubber quack the stuff because that just kind of wastes time. Hey, I haven't I found any huge, like, do you have any, like, particular yeah. that are entertaining to you, Hype? I'll be back. Well, a lot of it is oh, largely totally flavor late. text. Um, I do know that some of them that you have with Max are pretty camera slow. Oh, okay. Check this out, Jack. So, we're the freelance nice. police. Here's our authorization to be here. Check. Lucky. Now let us in before we mm. replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Hmm. Let me run this by the boss. The boss. Is, oh, how did he do that? His breath was still a little flammable. Oops. Well, there goes our official plans. Uh, uh, I guess you can go in. Thank you. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous. Thank goodness for head. careless oh, oh, oh. Presbyterian. Yeah, this seems like a swell enough guy. 
At first, yeah, I thought he said cannibals, not carnivals. It did sound like that a second. I mean, it's just the accent. I mean, considering this is one of the earliest games in on the peak in the PC, everything lineup, seems to be in order thing. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam, look over there. It's the human enigma. Oh God, and chicken dumpling. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? And that's the manager. Sorry, well, I tried That's Murray? to you, but you were uh, Yeah, the one with the head is Danny pity. Delk, aka Murray, the no demonic way. talking skull. It's oh, I was thinking of Murray from Psycho Bird. Yeah, I was no. too. Hi, I'm Chef Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our Also, carnival. this isn't him, but I What's left of it? But I noticed saying, I noticed that uh, from hearing it, I think the farmer voices quite a few people in this game. Even cruel yeah, he voices ones, um, some of the side characters as well. Self. In fact, Bill Whatever. actually voiced quite a handful of well, people back when LucasArts like was still the doing these. Oh, really? Like, problem. I know he was a few extras in Full way. Throttle. Nice. Interesting. Good round to that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's 11. See this melted block I mean, of ice? considering the fact how that, that how it? much detail goes this into these the games, they gotta make some compromises somewhere. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. So Our main attraction was a genuine, uh -huh. authentic, <gasps> real life Bigfoot. A Bigfoot on ice. <laughs> hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go the traipsing all over the country Bigfoot. looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? Only but if he's throwing on rocks. Return to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. That sounds dangerous. Hey, who isn't? And Besides, usual. he's kidnapped our <laughs> second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? Hmm. No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared Scranton. at the same time Bruno Aww. did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I don't know where Scranton's from. I guess Max and I could search okay. for your missing freaks, but we'll need Scranton three one of the carnival to look for clues. Scranton is in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and three oh, corn wow. dogs. That, that so was not as tropical or as far away as I no thought it'd problem. be. It, it sounds, kinda, it sounds, a, little, sounds a little mundane. Oh, don't forget, when you're looking around, don't forget to pick up the hair. That will be so important we'll those abominations Yeah, it's one of those, like, MacGuffin. This game has a few instances of moon logic. I think, the Godzilla? No, not not the current enough yeah. against a cheese. I, I will say to its credit, it, it never gets, a, it, it never gets like, monkey wrench levels of nice cryptic, guy, but, but sort of a drip. it will puzzle your brain here. <laughs> There's... Yeah, forget the monkey wrench. Kafka, yeah. There's one... Pro oh, by the way, we have to set the timeline right with one last thing. It's time for us to finally get Jesse, Jesse James's James severed, hand. severed hand. Oh, so that's where they got They're it still from. Twitching. Yeah, we'll have to mount it on our wall later, but for now it's in a jar. A very tightly wound up jar. Anyway, back to the other thing we were talking about was, um, I think there's there's only like one part that I think we get a little moon logic, and Hyde probably knows what I'm talking about. It's this one part where you have to like to combine Sasquatch three different here. things all together at once. To for computer and... Don't be stupid, Max. <sighs> Yeah, no, there's I, this... I think I know what you're talking about. You have about. to do it like um, twice, but you have to combine a bunch of items together to make some big like Ruby Goldberg like device in your hand to like grab another thing. It, gotcha. It, it, it's I think the worst it ever gets. Otherwise, this game kind of goes less for really tough puzzles and more just for all that flavor text and fun. Now that I look at Tr I Trixie's trailer, that ah, I have to wonder like how does a how does a girl with a long yeah. giraffe like oh, neck live in something like that? Oh. You have to be really good at the limbo. Here's something that could be a little moon logic, because you have to know that you can you have to know that you can pick this thing up. Huh. Okay then. Later. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for a now good old time for whack a rat. Oh boy! Back. Come here, Matt. Come here, Max. This is before we this is before we did the shoot the rat game, but now we're So Jordy, have you played any of the classic LucasArts games like back in the sprite animation days? I'm trying to remember which ones I have played. I'm gonna have to look them up. Cause I don't know. Okay. I oh, by the way, I don't 20. know if Logan shows it. You can actually hit Maxwell as well. Oh, I did, forgot. I forgot. Oh. About that. oh well. I think you it showed doesn't it off do anything. Our... It's just like a little humor. We, we thing. did. Think... We did. We did show this off during the look at. So uh, right. Did, just be sure to uh, splice that clip in if you feel like. Sure, I will. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. You can hit All right. Fine. These poor rats. They're just so. Oh god. You don't get any extra day. points, but it's not like. Uh, honestly, <laughs> Max. Honestly, Max is gonna care. Yeah, those you have to get twenty. You have thirty-seven. Those poor oh, so one. Those poor rats just climbing up like I don't want. <laughs> I want something. And Max is happy and can't <laughs> think straight. <laughs> Max, stop. Max is happy he didn't <laughs> clock him one. 
Or I clonked or maybe when I showed him that clip he got clonked between the alternate universes this is now kind of hey, partially broken. Uh, oh, Sam, what's math? A flashlight has no light bulbs, that's why we have to bring this with us. Ooh, it's a nifty flashlight. As usual, there's no like you're gonna die scenario like with Sierra, but there is a lot of traits and back and forth if you don't know what you're getting. I love already. how Max himself is considered an item in this game. Yeah, yes. it's funny. Hello there, hey, sir. Bucko. We are here. Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come they're, to you for they're, advice. They're brutal, but honest. <laughs> what do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? We came here for questions. Who wants to know? We're the freelance police. But we're yeah, I think we were talking about this earlier. Uh, Gwee's not joining us for this barefoot. because she didn't seem to... All I know about Bruno she didn't seem to entrance in all the non-sequitur well, randomness of Sam and Max's stuff. You might want to well, actually, it's not that. It's more so a matter of... One of I don't know if we ever went about it in depth, well, but it's more so a matter of she no, doesn't like how slow or paced the games are compared to the cartoon. Any idea what I mean, yeah. that's fair. Like, it's as far as, like, Sam and Max goes, it's like it's mostly the cartoon that she has a really big enamorment towards. Although she does like the comics, too. Oh yeah. Uh, I forgot. I need to get back. I know we did have that plan for a dub of that at some point. It is fun. I love the way your neck Honestly, since I have that, since I have a new mic, I'm actually half tempted to redo them. Even though, well, I think they sound perfectly fine. Why might as well, you know, for the fresher quality. And I probably should as well. And I think yeah, we were gonna do the first comic that appears in because that's the other fun thing is that this game's called Hit the Road. And I believe the original, like the big comic collection book, is also called Hit the Road. I think. Or certain no, Surfing the Highway. Surfing the Highway. May as well be the same thing. And, um, I know... Oh, okay, so we're gonna go right on the Kona right. Tragedy. I wonder which if we need really, to do. Really mean anything in the long run. <laughs> oh. You'd be surprised, but this actually is... Oh, good. Oh, uh, is, shoot. This, is this normal, Sam? Uh, it's legal in this county, but when this thing lets us go flying, we may land in a county that it isn't legal in. <laughs> Just remember, ow, kids, this ow, could be ow, you. Ow, ow, Stop ow. it! <laughs> I don't. Am I the one who does not like carnival rides? Like, I don't. I just don't oh. like. Oh wait, listen I'm, very closely, Jordan. I need help. Uh, you okay? Wake up! Ow. Oh, oh, sweet. A Dixie. heartbeat is working again. I Ooh. almost died. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time. I think I had my volume down too low when I was originally playing this, but Ooh, yeah, I feel <laughs> almost died. Healthy. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Really? Well, let's, let's check your inventory. And... Maybe later, chum. Why do I feel yeah. so empty? You do feel a little lighter. What happened hey, to? Oh, what devil happened damn it! Gosh dang it! What happened with all the useless junk well, I have? Except for, except hey, for Max, you. He's still fine. Will you help? Correction. Me? What happened to all the useless junk I recently hey, found? What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? Now all I got is this old it junk. He just points at the axe. You You're just jealous because I have a better figure than you. And with that said, we just and with that said, this is why we need to do this because that's actually gonna help us get a new item later. But yay, mm -hmm. more stuff. I'm sure. I'm sure whatever we'll find in the lost and found outside of our own junk is probably. I'm sure the. I'm sure the poor schmuck who originally owned what we're gonna find there isn't gonna miss it. Yeah. So join us in the next part where we're, we'll be officially. I said officially upgrading this from a look at to a commentary just so we can milk this franchise for every last cent it's worth. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Bye! I never been milked. It sounds scantilizing. Of course. Now shut up, stupid. It's costing money. <laughs>